Fine. Well, guys, congratulations on your award. It's uh, really well deserved. And I remember being on the brunt of uh, your jokes for many, many years and uh, thoroughly enjoying them. Then one day you rang me up and said, uh, would I like to be in one of the episodes? And I thought, fantastic. So you took me out to this wonderful celebrity safari park because you, you told me you got Rolf Harris. And, and when I got there, it wasn't the real Rolf Harris. And I thought, that's a bit strange. Then I remember you stuck me in a stable. And uh, you said, well, I said, why do you want me to go in the stable? You said, uh, well, you're our prize person. We really love you. We admire you so much. We always listen to you on the radio. And uh, so I thought, that's great. You know, they're going to look after me for the rest of my life. So you stuck me in the stable and you fed me really well. I can't complain. Uh, and then one day you came along and you, you got me out and you said, we want to take you for a little run in a field. And I thought, that's so nice, that's terrific. And you put me in the back of this lorry, and then you sort of put me in a box, and I remember that, and I thought, this is a little strange. And then the next thing I remember, the box opened up, and I was in the middle of a field, and you said, there, we're going to give you your freedom. But I was quite happy just being with you. But you let me go, and I, I remember prancing off into this field, and then suddenly Graham Garden, I remember, as I waved, he got a gun out and shot me. And you all laughed, and you left me in that field for dead. I just want you to know, I've survived. Here I am. And I'm going to be doing Pick of the Pops on Radio 2. Got you. I've done this before. <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> That's it.